Hello, I'm Petra Irving and I am a certified lymphedema therapist, a scar tissue therapist, and I specialise in treating post-op patients recover from their procedure. So today I'm going to do a video demonstration on how you can do self-massage after having vasor liposuction on your abdomen. Um, it's very common to get a lot of swelling um, almost immediately after your procedure. Uh, with Vaser, you have a tumescent fluid that infiltrates the tissues um, and that helps remove the fat cells, the fat tissue easier. So you will get quite a lot of swelling post-op. Um, swelling will peak at about day seven, so don't panic if you are a few days post-op and you're feeling pretty tight and swollen. So one of the common things with abdominal vasor is that you will get swelling in the tops of your legs and possibly down to your knees, depending on how much uh, work has been done. Um, and the most uncomfortable and distressing thing that happens to a lot of patients is that you get swelling in your groin. It's not comfortable and it's not pleasant, but it is temporary. So I'm just going to show you some uh, self-massage techniques to help mobilize that fluid. One tip is that if your compression garments have um, not got the compression around your groin, Wherever there's no compression, that is where the swelling will go. So my tip would be to get like a maternity pad um, and wear some shaper pants and get a little bit more compression down below. Okay, so um, with your compression on, you're going to start off doing some deep abdominal breathing. So sitting at about 45 degrees, um, Elevate your, your knees underneath some pillows. I've got a bolster here, but use some pillows and it just reduces the strain on your tummy. So lie back, some nice big deep breaths where you're opening your arms and opening your chest. So. And then abdominal breathing again with your compression on and um, so that you're 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 um, moving your muscles against your compression it might feel a little bit uncomfortable but it will get better when, when you keep doing it so when you inhale you're expanding your tummy imagine you're inflating a balloon in your tummy so inhale exhale inhale exhale do about 10 of those then if you are comfortable take your compression off um, in your lymphatic system you have um, a midline so you have a midline here at your waist and down the middle everything above your waist will drain up to the armpit up to your armpit um, everything below your waist will drain down to the lymph nodes in your groin. So do some um, circular movements. So just to show you, circular movements just like that in your armpits, both sides, and it just stimulates the lymph nodes in there and prepares them for the fluid that's going to come up. Um, so back down, you've done your armpits and then you're just sweeping out to the side, just very gently, very gently down to your belly button, so your center line, sweeping out nice and gently to the side and then use your other hand to move up to each armpit, so up to the sides on each side like this. So you can do that for a couple of minutes, just nice and gently and bringing up to the side. Then here in your groin, mostly you get some drains quite low down, so just be aware of the drains. 
um, circular movements just in the lymph nodes in your groin and that just pre prepares those lymph nodes for the fluid to come down from below your tummy. So again, you're just gently pushing down. Now, if you've got swelling in your groin, you don't want to push the swelling down further into your groin. So you're bringing it out to the side. You're sort of fanning out like that. Fan out. Okay. If you've had flanks done, you can go slightly onto your side and bring round to your groin. So you're coming round from the side and sweeping round to your the crease at the top of your legs. If you've got pubic swelling, then just gently along your the top of your pubic area, you're just sweeping out towards the lymph nodes in your groin. So tops of your legs next. Just coming down, use both hands so that you're stroking up in the um, center here. So for the inside of your legs, you're, you're sweeping out like this. And then you can use both hands, bring your leg up, both hands, and just keep doing that. Loads up towards the lymph nodes at the top of your leg. So lots of sweeping up. And finish off then with doing some more deep abdominal breathing. And a couple more then for your opening your arms like that. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions or want any advice on self-massage, don't hesitate to get in touch.